Good afternoon, Prosper. I'm Julia Bizion, and this is the Pandemic Program, bringing you all the news you need to know from at least six feet away. It's official we will not be returning to school for the rest of the year. The coronavirus pandemic has stolen most of our seniors' celebrations, but a brand new way to honor those finishing their high school careers has been created. Families around the community can now adopt seniors as a special way of celebrating them. Jordan Ramsey takes a look at how this is impacting seniors' lives. This season of quarantine has put an unfortunate end to the 2020 school year, canceling the graduation ceremony meant to honor the class of 2020. Thankfully, the community of Prosper has not forgotten its seniors, as a Facebook group known as Adopt a Prosper High School Senior has been created, allowing community members to do something special for the class of 2020. So my main purpose of starting the um, Adopt a Senior page is I know that there's a lot of seniors since they're not in school right now, that they may not have a lot of contact. Um, maybe their parents are working. Maybe they just don't have a lot of home support. And so this way they can get community members involved and just give them a different perspective. Helping uh, the students know that even though we're not going to be able to experience traditional things, um, you know, for these last couple of months of senior year, just letting them know that, you know, there are other ways that we can celebrate. Both Shannon and Sandy were inspired to start the Adopt a Senior page because they wanted to help make their children feel special, as well as the entire class of 2020. My goal was to have the community members not necessarily give a gift, but like write notes of encouragement. Tell them, you know, we're thinking about you, we're here for you. Even though we are all in quarantine, the site has allowed many seniors to feel like they are getting the true graduation experience. You know, we shouldn't be thinking like this, but I know my son thinks I've worked so hard and now it's time to play. And all of a sudden, they don't get that play time. So once we did that, and my son got his gift and a visit from his adopted family, it was like he was good again. He's like, this is, this is awesome. This is from the outside world, and he, um, his face really lit up with that. Thankfully, there is an overabundance of willing donors, but there are many Class of 2020 parents who have not yet joined the site. There are more people on the, that are members of the site that are wanting to adopt than there are actual seniors that are on the site. They're constantly sending me messages. Is there anybody you have left to adopt? I, I, I want to adopt somebody. And, uh, you know, I just keep telling them, just keep checking the site and just keep looking. To register their seniors for adoption, parents can go to the group Adopt a Prosper High School Senior on Facebook. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Jordan Ramsey. Prosper. Last Friday, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis allowed residents to return to beaches, although the cases of coronavirus continue to increase. South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster has also loosened the restrictions of the state's coast by reopening its boat ramps last Friday and opening its beaches to the public this week. On Saturday, 165 new COVID-19 cases were recorded, along with three new deaths, which brings the total to more than 4,000 infections and nearly 120 deaths. As for Florida, its Department of Health announced more than 1,400 additional cases on Friday and more than 500 on Saturday, surging the total to nearly 25,200 infections and nearly 750 fatalities. Despite beaches now being open in these states, they'll only be accessible for the purpose of exercising outdoors, not for sunbathing or hanging out with friends. They'll be open from 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. and from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. to avoid people from coming out in the hours that are typically the busiest and to make social distancing easier. Chick-fil-A has released via social media recipes that you can make with its menu items, including chicken strips, nuggets, and more. Quesadillas, taquitos, and just about anything else you can think of with chicken in it will be covered alongside tasty chocolate peanut butter milkshake pies. These recipes have been made in an effort to make enjoyable meals for families to eat at home while enhancing people's cooking skills. You can try these recipes for yourself by ordering Chick-fil-A items that are necessary for the recipe through delivery, 
mobile orders, or the drive-thru, and then following the directions, which are posted on Chick-fil-A's Instagram. Local department store Neiman Marcus is anticipating to file for bankruptcy protection this week, making it the first major American department store to succumb to the economic fallout resulting from the coronavirus outbreak. All 43 locations across the nation have been temporarily shut down. This grim milestone is something Neiman Marcus has been attempting to avoid since it pushed out due dates on financial obligations last year in restructuring deal with creditors. Once action officially takes place, Neiman Marcus could attract interest from potential suitors to either pick up the company or purchase some of its assets for a cheap price. COVID-19 has brought tons of free time among us, and lots of students have resorted to filling this space by playing video games. Corey Sanderson breaks down the top four video games to play in quarantine. With the stressful situation of COVID-19 and all the lockdowns, protests, and political drama, many have turned to video games as an escape for these times. Video games have provided people with a world away from the horrors of COVID-19. So with that in mind, here are the top four video games to cope with COVID-19. Number four is Endemic Creations Plague Inc. Originally released in 2012, the now shockingly relevant game lets you create your own plague as you try to infect and kill everyone in the world. It's harder than it sounds. You'll deal with making the plague transmittable, making it survive in harsh conditions, and handling its deadliness as you try to complete your goal before humans discover your plague and create a vaccine for it. Plague Inc. is certainly a game that will test your strategic abilities. Number three is Minecraft. Minecraft is a game that's familiar to many where you mine, craft, and build in order to survive and build the world that you want. Minecraft is a game that truly allows you to play however you want. Whether you're into the crafting and mining of survival, the stress-free building of creative, or the multitude of other things to do, including the various minigame servers, adventure maps, and more, you'd be hard-pressed to run out of things to do in Minecraft. And number two is Doom Eternal. The sequel to 2016's Doom and the fifth game in the Doom series, Doom Eternal lets you once again take on the role of the Doom Slayer as you rip and tear the demonic forces of hell. Featuring many of the well-known weapons of Doom, including the Rocket Launcher, Chainsaw, and BFG 9000, and a heavy metal soundtrack in the background, Doom Eternal is the ultimate game to lat out all that pent up COVID-19 frustration. Finally, number one is Animal Crossing New Horizons. The latest entry in the Animal Crossing series, Animal Crossing lets you move to a deserted island with various cute characters as part of a vacation package, where you can hunt for bugs, fish, craft items, and develop your island into a thriving community. Animal Crossing New Horizons is packed to the brim with content, including the museum, a photography studio, the ability to visit the islands of your friends, various holiday events, and more. These things and more make Animal Crossing New Horizons the perfect COVID-19 getaway. Which game do you like the most? Let us know by voting in the poll on our Twitter at Eagle Nation News. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Corey Tennyson, Prosper. Thank you for watching this episode of the Pandemic Program. I'm Julia Bees and I'm bringing you all the news you need to know for today. And remember to stay at least six feet away.